Hi friends, welcome back to Raising Readers, an online story time from the Alpha Park Public Library for babies and toddlers. I'm Miss Sarah, and this week, story time is about Thanksgiving. Do you think my turkey looks like a turkey? I tried to draw one on my own. It's okay. <laughs> All right, let's get started with our wake up song. We've got our friend Bear here. He's gonna help us wake up our bodies and get ready for a great story time today. So let's pick three parts to wake up. Let's do our toes. We've been doing our feet most weeks, but let's focus on the toes today. Let's do toes and let's do eyes. Last week's story time was about eyes and that was fun to add in. And our third one, let's do our shoulders. That's a really fun, big motion to get us really moving our bodies a little bit. All right, let's get started with the toes. Get your toes out and ready. And Sarah's gonna move her microphone so I don't bump it and make bad noises on the speaker. Here we go. Wake up toes, wake up toes, wake up toes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up toes, wake up toes, Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Now those eyes. Let's get in real close and see your eyes do a big blink. Can you do a big blink for me today? Good job. All right, let's wake up our eyes. Wake up eyes, wake up eyes. Wake up eyes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up eyes, wake up eyes. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, how about those shoulders? Here are bare shoulders, right here at the top of your arm, the highest part that you can bend. You can do all kinds of movements to wake up your shoulders. You can wiggle them like me. You could do great big arm windmills. You have all kinds of ways to wake up your shoulders. You show me how you want to do it, okay? Wake up, shoulders. Wake up, shoulders. Wake up shoulders and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, great job moving your bodies around. Thank you, Bear. Put you down for just a minute. Well, no, don't put him down, huh, Miss Sarah. It's time for a rocking song. I'm gonna rock with Bear. You can rock with something snuggly, a blanket, a pillow, a grown-up you have nearby, a little one you have nearby. Let's try rocking and singing about friends who read together. <clears throat> oh, friends who read together, together, together. Oh, friends who read together will stay friends for sure. Let's read a book together, together, together. Let's read a book together and always be friends. Ah, now Bear can sit down. See you in just a minute, Bear. Well, speaking of Bear, our first story has a bear in it and it's called Bear Says Thanks. This book is by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Bear has quite a few different stories around and they're all really sweet. So let's find out and move our camera just a little bit. Why Bear says thanks. On our first page you can see Bear's toes sticking out of his bear den. Let's find out what happens together. Whoops. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, 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 and he misses his friends. It happens to us in the winter sometimes when it's too chilly to go out the way we do in the summer. We get a little bored and miss our friends. You'll just have to check out story time, huh? I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But Bear looks through his cupboard, and his cupboard is bare. Is bare, huh? Is his cupboard full of bears? No, it's the opposite. This bear means empty. So Bear has an empty cupboard. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie. 
And the bear says, thanks. Do you see the little huckleberry pie? It's a mouse size pie. That's sweet though. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, hi ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hey, now they have pie and muffins. Hair hurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, what does he say? Thanks. Bear has very good manners, doesn't he? Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. What does Badger have to bring? Who knows? Fish. Brrr, says Badger as he tromps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. You see our gopher and mole? Whew, now we have fish, honey, nuts, pie, muffins. Might be a feast after all. There's a flap and a flutter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl with raven and wren. We have hairs from the tree and herbs to brew tea. And the bear says, wait. I thought he was going to say thanks, but he said, wait. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs, can you sigh? And he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share, but me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather around. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter, and they all say thanks. The end. That's the end of Bear Says Thanks by Karma Wilson and James Chapman. So let's have a few songs now. I've got one that's a really fun, silly song. It's the Thanksgiving version of Mary Had a Little Lamb, and it's called Maggie Had a Little Turkey. And if you print out your song sheet, either from the link below the video, or if you pick it up here at the library, the words to the next couple of songs are on here. This one goes like this. I'm sure you'll be able to learn it very fast. Maggie had a little turkey, little turkey, little turkey. Maggie had a little turkey that made a silly sound. What do turkeys say, friends? Gobble, 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 happy turkey day. What did you think of that song? Should we try it again so that you guys can get to know the words as well? Maggie had a little turkey, little turkey, little turkey. Maggie had a little turkey that made a silly sound. Get ready for your gobbles. 
Gobble, 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 gobble. Happy Turkey Day. <laughs> Great job, everybody. One more song before we read our next story. And this is a song about five little turkeys. So I'd love for you to hold up your hand because one hand has five little fingers and each one of them can be a turkey. And this song goes to the tune of the Six Little Ducks song. Six little ducks that I once knew. That's the song. But we're gonna change it to five little turkeys that I once knew and gobble instead of quack. Five little turkeys I once knew. Fat ones, thin ones, short ones too. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ran the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Down to the corn bin they would go, wibble wobble, wibble wobble to and fro. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he chased the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. All right, so we had one turkey run off, so we're gonna take one away. How many turkeys do we have? One, two, three, four. Four little turkeys, ready? Four little turkeys I once knew, Fat ones, thin ones, short ones too. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ruled the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. Down to the corn bin they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ruled the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. That takes away another turkey. How many? One, two, three. Three little turkeys I once knew, fat ones, thin ones, short ones too. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ran the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. Down to the corn bin they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ran the others with the gobble, gobble, gobble. You guys are getting good at gobbles. All right, that took away another turkey. How many? Two, two little turkeys I once knew, fat ones, thin ones, short ones too. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ruled the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. Down to the corn bin they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ruled the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. One left. Can you? Sing really loud for our last turkey. One little turkey I once knew, fat ones, thin ones, short ones too. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ruled the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. Down to the corn bin they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little turkey with the itty bitty waddle, he ruled the others with a gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Great job. Lots of gobbles today for our story time. Well, let's read our last story together. This one is called Give Thanks for Each Day, and it's by Steve Metzger. We're going to find things to be thankful for in this story because that is what Thanksgiving is about. Maybe you can get some ideas of things you are thankful for. We're going to zoom in. This book's a lot smaller than Bear was. Oh, look. What's the animal at the beginning? A deer, we have a deer. All right, give thanks for each day, give thanks for each night, for colorful flowers, for stars shining bright. Give thanks for new crayons, red, green, and blue. Give thanks for the moments when wishes come true. Bear's blowing on a dandelion puff, isn't he? Making a wish. Give thanks for the train that chugs down the track. Give thanks for the comfort when mommy comes back. Give thanks for a puzzle, a favorite bear. Aw, the fox are thankful for their toys. The thrill when you're lifted way up in the air. That's fun too, isn't it? Getting picked up high. A hug, 
a parade, a bath, a new toy. Those are all nice ideas as well. The things in our world that fill us with joy. What animal do we have here, boys and girls? Do you know this one? It looks a little like a squirrel, but it's not a squirrel. It's a chipmunk. Sometimes they're called ground squirrels, smaller. Give thanks for a walk by a lake in the park. Give thanks for the light in our homes after dark. Give thanks for the snowflakes that fall from above. Ooh, soon enough, huh? For getting together with people you love. Give thanks for sweet ice cream. What animal did we change to? We have dogs now. And cats. For ducks in a row, give thanks for great stories which help you to grow. I'm thankful for great stories. Give thanks for the ocean, give thanks for the sand, the sweet, simple pleasure when we're holding hands. Aw, the raccoons look happy. Give thanks for I love you, the best words to say. Give thanks for each night, give thanks for each day. And we end with the deer that we started with. That's Give Thanks for Each Day. These books and quite a few more Thanksgiving books are available um, for checkout at the library right now. You can stop in, we have a nice big display, or you can order them for pickup and we'll pull them and get ready for you. So you don't wanna miss out on all the great Thanksgiving stories this year. We have one more song, and this song is our animal song about when animals get up in the morning. So I'm grabbing some of my favorite animals that I have sitting here. And the first one, you can probably hear her bell, is sheep. What do sheep say, friends? Ba, they say ba, good job. All right, we're gonna add that to our song, so get ready. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say hello. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say hello. But what do sheep say? Let me hear it, ba. And that is what they say. And oh, how about this? We had one of these in the last story. This is our very fluffy orange and white cat. We know what cats say. When cats get up in the morning, they always say hello. When cats get up in the morning, they always say hello. What do cats say? And that is what they say. Let's set our kitty down. Do you remember this guy? This is our donkey. What do donkeys say? Hee haw, hee haw. When donkeys get up in the morning, they always say hello. When donkeys get up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Hee haw. And that is what they say. Oh, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving celebrating all the things you get to be thankful for. This week, our craft is a turkey puppet. You can see it's a very beautiful turkey. There's his waddle. Do you remember talking about the waddle in their songs? Um, you can color this guy up really nice and put your fingers in and make him into a puppet. So that's in your packet this week. I hope you get to put that somewhere special. Let's close up with the more we get together. We're gonna clap our, not the more we get together, Miss Sarah. If you're happy and you know it, we're gonna clap our hands, stomp our feet, and shout hooray, extra big hoorays this week for Thanksgiving, okay? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. 
If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Really big one on the end. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm thankful for you. We'll see you next week on Raising Readers when we start our brand new series on the ABCs. I'm looking forward to it. See you next week. Bye.